Alright guys, welcome to the channel. So this video is the first video I'm recording for this channel. So what we're gonna do for this channel is that we're gonna be covering different topics such as strength of materials, which we start the channel mostly with this topic. If you are an engineering student in mechanical engineering, civil engineering, or materials engineering, the content of this channel uh, will be helpful for you guys. And in today's video, we're going to start with the, the first chapter of the strength of materials from Beer and Johnson textbook. Uh, let's get into it. So we have a strength gauge located at point C on the surface of a bone AB indicated that the average normal stress in the bone is 3.8 megapascal when the bone is subjected to 2 1200 forces as shown on the two ends of the bone and assuming that the cross section of the bone at point C to be annular and knowing that its outer diameter is 25 millimeter we need to determine the inner diameter of the bones cross section at point C so let's just write down all the givens that we have in here so I'm gonna start with the givens so first of all, from the second line of the question, we know that the average normal stress in the bone is 3.8. So we know the average normal stress is 3.8 megapascal. And we know the bone is subjected to two forces of 1200 Newton. So if we want to show the force with F, we have 1200 Newton force. And we know that the cross section of the bone to be annular so we have a hollow circle and we know that the outer diameter let's show it with D out so the outer diameter from the question we know is 25 millimeter and we have to figure out the inner diameter let's call it D in and that's what we need to figure out in this question so the formula that we have in here obviously is the the average normal stress will be F over the area and the area that we have in here as I mentioned is a hollow circle which means we have to figure out uh, so we know the area of the circle is pi times r squared r is radius and we know our d in here is 2r so that's for the normal circle and when we have a hollow we have to do the area of the so if we call it out radius squared so that would be the area for the big big circle and if we subtract that by the inner circle we'll have um, the area that I'm highlighting in yellow so this is our intersection and we have to figure out this area so in here we can factor pi which we will have the outer radius minus the inner one and square and if we want to write that down based on d we know r is d divided by 2 and r squared will be d over 2 squared or d squared over 4 so if we want to write down our area in here so we will have pi divided by 4 and we will have the outer diameter minus the inner diameter squared so that's our area in here and what we need to figure out in here in our formula where we had the average normal stress f over a we know our a will be f over the average stress our f is 1200 we have 3.8 this will be newton this will we have mega pascal and what we have for a we have p divided by four times the outer diameter minus the inner diameter will be equal to if we want to stay consistent with all of our units so we'll have 1200 newton and we will have here 3.8 times mega we know mega will be 10 to the power of 6 pascal and what we get in here we have to figure this out based on meter but we have all the dimensions based on millimeter so all we need to do is to divide our diameter by a thousand so we have pi divided by 4 the outer diameter we know from the question is 25 and we're going to divide it by a thousand to make it to meter so this will be to the power of 2 equals 1200 times 3.8 times 10 to the 6. so what we can do in here we're gonna bring the pi divided by 4 on the right side of the equation or we can multiply this by 4 and from the first one we will have 25 squared divided by n to the 6 minus d and this will be equal to 12 times 
4 divided by pi times 3.8 times 10 to the 6. And all we need to do will have the inner diameter of the, the bone equal to 25 squared, which we know is 625 divided by 10 to the 6 minus 1200 times 4 divided by pi times 3.8 times 10 to the 6. So all we need to do is to find the right side of the equation where we have 625 divided by 10 to the 6 and in here we can find 1200, 1200 times 4 divided by 3.8 divided by pi so this will be 402.1 so this will be the amount for this ratio so 1200 times 4 divided by pi times 3.8 can give us 402.1 let's just double check the calculation one more time times 4 divided by pi divided by 3.8 402.1 so from here if you want to find the inner diameter we will have 625 minus 402.1 divided by 10 to the 6 and this will be and if we do the square root on each side the inner diameter will be 14.9 divided by a thousand meter or 14.9 millimeter and that would be all for this question thanks for watching you guys please make sure to subscribe to the channel it's gonna help us to grow faster and reach out to more students and let me know if you have any better solution to solve this question uh, i'd be happy to discuss it with you guys in the comment section you guys take care and i'll see you in the next video have a good one